I wish I was here to be talking about, to talking to you about how SART is prospering, how regional connectivity is happening, of how this region is finally being able to see the full potential that we have read in our textbooks. Uh, but, uh, you know, you have to do what you have to do. And in this particular incident, the reason why we are drawing your attention is because we are at a unique place where perpetrators of terrorism are today projecting themselves to be the greatest victims of terrorism. Where perpetrators of terrorism are drum beating as security council presidents to talk about terrorism uh, from uh, imaginary sources. Uh, and we are all also at a unique place because nobody is willing to call the bluff. Nobody is willing to call out the clear, simple, glaring hypocrisy in this whole act. So when we have evidence that is undeniable, that is indisputable, I think it is important for everyone who speaks of justice and, you know, uh, universality of the value system that we have to call a spade a spade. And this particular effort is to bring to the attention of the world and to expect them and to uh, really encourage them to see things in, based on evidence as they are. Now I know uh, that the Interior Minister has already done a press conference on what we are calling the Lahore incident yesterday. Uh, this morning the Foreign Secretary of Pakistan uh, was able to call in the diplomatic corps and uh, share this dossier with them. Uh, this dossier, as you already know, has details, evidence of how India has found to be fully behind this particular incident which led to the loss of life. And we do not, unlike our neighbors, go the next day and blame one country or the other. We waited till we had strong, hard evidence to be making the case that we're making today. Now, uh, let me say that we all claim that terrorism in all its forms and manifestations is condemnable. Uh, we also know that it poses a serious threat to peace and security. And I think if there's one thing that has bogged this region down, it is the scourge of terrorism. And there's one country which has been on the receiving end of the scourge of terrorism, it is Pakistan. Yet the other country, which is the source of terrorism in Pakistan, continues to play the drum of being the victim of terrorism. I mean, it's a remarkable world, right? It's, it's a very interesting uh, proposition that we f find ourselves in. Now, uh, coming back to the Lahore incident, it is a clear evidence of a terrorist attack which was planned, which was supported by India, which was to target innocent civilians in Pakistan, Lahore, Johor Dam. It reflects India's persistent hostility towards my country and the use of terrorist proxies to achieve nefarious objectives. And we believe objectives which are actually going to harm them also. Because when you try and burn a neighbor's house, the fire will come and burn you too. Our professional law enforcement agencies and judicial authorities have brought the perpetrators of this attack to justice who have received punishment. But these are only the front men, as we all know. The masterminds and the facilitators remain at large and under Indian state patronage and protection. I can assure you that the government of the government of Pakistan will pursue this relentlessly at every level. Now, India has already earned the infamy of, for its terrorist designs and actions. Its actions in the IIOJK, the infamous massacre in Indian Gujarat, which made some countries close glorify this incident. They want to identify with that incident rather than away from the incident. This shows the psyche which is currently going on. And I tell you, it's a dangerous one. The Samjota train incident that we all know about, uh, its terrorist proxies continue to use neighbors' territories and blatant support to Baloch militant organizations. All of these point to one objective and one method. The objective is to undermine Pakistan's peace and security, and the method is simple, terrorism. Now, we can call what India is doing to be many things, okay? One, one, one uh, I think, fragment of a sentence which describes it well is chronic terrorism syndrome, okay? And how do you define it? You perpetrate terrorism, you fully supported and abetted by the state. The Lahore incident, the Samjhota, uh, you know, train incident, the Yadev uh, evidence all point out to that. 
you play as a victim of terrorism to gain international sympathy and create subterfuge. No country has used terrorism better than India. To play on the back of the attention of the world on terrorism and to play the victim, no country has benefited from it better than India. Uh, portray yourself uh, or itself as the champion of counter-terrorism. Uh, <laughs> and it's interesting because this continues to be a country which has made no contribution whatsoever to, uh, has always played lip service, but had made no contribution to international counter-terrorism in any way. If you compare Pakistan and India, you know, uh, you will find Pakistan will always be in the forefront of counter-terrorism, of ensuring that we are a player in the world to try and make sure that terrorism does not continue to haunt us. It also continues to divert international attention from its state-sponsored terrorism and human rights violations in the IIOJK. It blatantly violates international laws and regulations to continue terrorist activities and their support, facilitation and financing. Maybe it will not be very wise to bring it in this context, but allow me to remind all of you that India is a country which continues to be what I call a rogue state. Because a country, country that tries to deny the existence of Security Council resolutions and insists on other countries imagining a certain part of disputed territory as its own shows what type of a mindset this country has. And I can say, of course, it's a very, very dangerous mindset. Create hurdles in judicial proceedings when terrorism cases are subjudiced. Paralyze United Nations Security Council. And this is also very rich because, you know, do what you blame others for. Okay? So India has been consistently paralyzing United Nations Security Council's sanctions regime by blocking listing of Indian terrorists actively aided and financed by the state of India. And in this, I have four names that I can share with you, I think at the end of this, uh, which are recent uh, Indian nationals whose listing has been blocked by India. In fact, I do have those names with me. This is Gobinda Patnaik. Parthas, Partha Sarthi, Rajesh Kumar, and Mr. Duna, Dungara. All four names blocked by India for in UNSC listing. And obviously, I think I don't need to remind anyone that India has had a constant role in destabilizing its neighboring countries and weaken their economies to try and pursue its hegemonic designs in the region. CPEC, Balochistan are very good examples. I also question... Uh, I, I can just try and remind India that you cannot have islands of excellence in, in, in a sea of depravity. So when you try and harm your region, you actually end up harming yourself. Now, we can understand that India is currently very frustrated because uh, Pakistan has been, uh, because of the delisting of Pakistan from FATF's grey list, right? Uh, they have uh, completely... Uh, mastered the art of using international organizations for their political gains. I think they should give lessons of, on that type of diplomacy to the world. Now, this cannot change the fact that India remains the recruiter, the financier, the facilitator of various terrorist outfits and foreign terrorist fighters within the region. The world may be ignoring this, what I would consider to be a festering pool of terrorism, but at its own peril. Now, what is ironic, as I've already said, is that India has been beating the terrorism drum chairing UNSC meetings on terrorism. Now, it has been caught red-handed in this particular incident, orchestrating terrorist attacks in its neighboring country, Pakistan. Let me be clear to you, and as I've already said, when you burn your neighbor's house, the fire will reach you too. I think India should desist, desist from this policy and start looking at this region as a neighborhood that it is. And India's undebated slip into the extremism is being clouded by this growing India, emerging India narrative. And let me conclude by saying, because you might be asking, what is the, yes, this is all the evidence, the dossier is there, but what is the purpose? We believe truly that the international community, in particular the UN and FATF, have the responsibility now to hold India accountable for its terrorist actions. So we are looking for accountability. The Lahore incident for us, is a test case for the credibility and integrity of international counterterrorism and counterfinancing of terrorism regimes. The world must show that efforts to counterterrorism are non-discriminatory. The international conscience cannot be held hostage 
to what are clearly political and economic exigencies of the time. I also want to draw the world's attention to the victims who lost lives or were injured in the Lahore terrorist incident, as well as their families and lo loved ones. They look towards all of us for justice. We have shared this dossier with the members of the United Nations Security Council. We are also sharing it with the UN Secretary General. We hope that they would look into this evidence and fulfill their responsibility. Pakistan, for its part, will remain fully committed to eradicate terrorism in all its form and manifestations. As far as this specific issue is concerned, I know you already know from the uh, Interior Minister's briefing, but I will just repeat. Red warrants uh, through Interpol ha have already, already been issued. Mutual legal assistance request to countries whose territory has been used for this, um, this incident um, have, been, have been seeked. Uh, and we are, as we already said, will be seeking, will be formally taking it up at the UN. Uh, we have shared the copies, are in the process of sharing the copies of, of the dossier with the Security Council members and the United Nations Security uh, Secretary General. And our expectations of the world is that if exigencies of political and economic interest, we will all have to pay the price for it. We will all have to pay the price for it. So with that. Yes, Uh, so, uh, the fact is that if any country is the same thing is the same thing is that if any country is the same thing is that if any country is the same thing is that if any country is the फिर वो पूरे तरह कह भी दे कि वो किसके एजेंडे पे आया था किसका एजेंट था और वो हाजिर सर्विस हो और वो निकल जाए और फिर भी दुनिया उसको تسلیم ना करे या उसको क्वेश्चन सो दैट इज दैट वुड बी आइरोनिक सो हां हमें इस पे उम्मीद है कि ये जो इनका ट्रेल ऑफ एविडेंस आता जा रहा है मैंने बल्कि आपसे नाम नहीं लिया आपने अभी मौका दिया तो मैं इसका बताना चाहूंगी कि पिछले 3 सालों में 211 इंडिविजुअल्स ऑफ लॉ एनफोर्समेंट एजेंसीज have been attacked through wrong sponsored uh, attacks. There have been 1,213 attacks in Pakistan in the last three years where we have <coughs> evidence that they were wrong sponsored. Now, if I take you to the list of the last, you have to say that 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 you have to say Now, attack on PC uh, Hotel Gwadar, 11th May 2019. Attack on Chinese Consulate Karachi, November 2018. Attack on Oil Exploration Company at Gwadar, October 15th, 2020. Suicidal attack at Gwadar, 20th August 2021. Suicidal attack on FC camp at Panjgor Noshki, uh, February 2022. Indian disinformation campaign we all know about. <coughs> so really, my question is, how much is too much? And is this not too much? And how would we allow a country to drum the terror, you know, to use the terrorism drum on a platform like the Security Council? And how do we deny? It? Then, then quest questions are asked about the credibility of these institutions, of course. So I think this is clearly a very serious matter, and real questions need to be asked. Yes, ma'am. Pakistan <laughs> Kya 
आपका रिसेंटली अफगानिस्तान का विजिट हुआ और उस विजिट के हवाले से भी कुछ बात हुई कि वहां पर आपकी जो मीटिंग्स थी हाई ऑफिशियल्स के साथ वो नहीं हो सकी हैं इसमें किस हद तक सदाकत है कि एक खातून वजीर खारजा के जाने से शायद वहां कोई मसाइल हुए ये एक इम्प्रेशन है और नेशनल असेंबली में भी इस पर बात हुई है तो इस पर आपका मौका जाना चाहूंगी शुक्रिया ओके देखिए आई विल नॉट इंटायरली अग्री विद आई विल स्पीक इन इंग्लिश बिकॉज यू नो आई विल नॉट इंटायरली अग्री विद द फैक्ट दैट वी हैव नॉट बीन एबल टू मेक अ केस ओके आई बिकॉज एज समन हुज बीन एसोसिएटेड विद फॉरन पॉलिसी मैनेजमेंट फॉर मेनी ईयर्स नाउ आई वुड हैव विश्ड आई वुड हैव नेवर दैट टेन ईयर्स फ्रॉम देन वीड बी लुकिंग एट अ डिफरेंट रीजन दैट वीड बी लुकिंग एट अ रीजन विच इज एटलीस्ट moving towards opening doors towards each other to work for its people towards prosperity but we see this continuation of trying to you know bog the region down with the scourge of terrorism right now these incidents the fact that you have yadav here all these are clear signs of a very large country trying to dampen the entire region through its what i would consider nefarious designs right i don't think these designs are good for india also because india is also part of the neighborhood it should want the prosperity of the neighborhood now that thought process is something that you can't change that we would like to be able to change so if you see in the last 5 to 10 years uh, india has changed tactics and become much worse than it used to be where it is now propagating uh, you know extremism in some ways and propagating against certain minorities uh, what it did in iiojk what it did for its own elections sent jets into one nuclear power sending jets into another nuclear power do we need evidence of more irresponsible behavior for the world that's evidence enough and then we all found out what was in in there in balakot which was told we were you know the world was told that there were certain certain camps etc and we found there were some trees that's it do we need more evidence as to what country is doing what so i think that case is well made I, i don't think it is but as i said there is the reality and i am not you know on the poly, you know i'm i'm clearly saying this there are political and economic exigencies which are making some some entities look away from 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 obvious things we decided that we are not going to look take any other questions but that ha nahi ek minute afghanistan ke upar nahi nahi afghanistan ke upar nahi lena tha लेकिन क्योंकि ये क्लैरिफिकेशन देने का मौका मिल रहा है इसलिए मैं ये क्वेश्चन बिल्कुल होंगी देखें पहले तो हमारा एक असूल है मैं ये आई एम यूजिंग दिस अपॉर्चुनिटी थैंक यू फॉर गिविंग मी हम हम दफ्तर खारजा हैं ठीक है स्पोक्स पर्सन दफ्तर खारजा को रिप्रेजेंट करती हैं हम सारे यहाँ पे जो लोग बैठे हैं वो आला अफसरान दफ्तर खारजा के हैं उनका मैंडेट सोशल मीडिया मैनेजमेंट नहीं है उनका मैंडेट हकूमत पाकिस्तान लोगों पाकिस्तान के लोगों के इंटरेस्ट को प्रिजर्व करना और अपनी जॉब करना है सो प्लीज फिव अस इफ यू कंसिडर दैट टू बी सेकेंडरी जॉब नॉट द सो वी आर लेस केयरफुल अबाउट द यू नो कहते हैं ना तमाशा दैट इज गोइंग ऑन इन सोशल मीडिया मोर केयरफुल अबाउट द मैसेजिंग दैट वी डूइंग टू द पीपल दैट वी वॉन्ट जिन दैट इज द जॉब टू इंटरक्ट विद सो बहुत सारी चीजें ऐसी होती हैं जिनको हम इग्नोर कर देते हैं जो एक डिस इन्फॉर्मेशन कैंपेन चल रही होती है लेट मी कैटेगोरिकली से कोई ऐसी मीटिंग नहीं थी जो हमने मांगी हो जो हमें डिनाई की तो वो एक आ रहा था कि जी अ सर्टन मिनिस्टर रिफ्यूज टू मीट we were there for a certain number of hours we could only fit in a certain number of meetings and that there's absolutely no truth in that whatsoever in fact if i if you were to ask me what is my assessment i was very well received as i expected to be there was no reason why i should not have been well received uh, and uh, the other thing is that as far as the meeting is the meetings are concerned or the purpose of the trip is concerned i feel we were able to achieve exactly what we wanted to achieve and i do not want to delve greater into details मैंने पहले भी कहा है प्लीज रिस्पेक्ट द फैक्ट दैट वी आर जॉब इज टू डू एटलीस्ट द वे पाकिस्तान लुक्स एट डिप्लोमेसी इज दैट आर जॉब इज टू डू डीप यूजफुल डिप्लोमेसी अवे फ्रॉम थियेट्रिक्स सो हम नहीं विजिट्स पे जाके या मीटिंग्स करके बाहर आके कहते हैं हमने उसको ये कह दिया हमने उनसे ये करवा लिया हमने ये कर दिया ये हमारा तरीका नहीं है और ना ही हम इस तरीके को अपनाना चाहेंगे हमारा तरीका यह है पाकिस्तान के इंटरेस्ट को प्रिजर्व करके पाकिस्तान के जो भी इंटरेस्ट है उनको प्रोजेक्ट करने के लिए हमें जो जो करना पड़े वो हम करते हैं कभी हम उसको सामने लेके आते हैं और कभी हम उसको बिल्कुल सामने नहीं लाते क्योंकि सामने लाने से शायद उसका फायदा नहीं नुकसान होगा ठीक है 
Thank you, ma'am. Uh, thank you for the clarification. Uh, my question is, when on one side of our borders, India is sponsoring terrorism, the other side of the border, we are under perpetual state of firing and uh, many innocent Pakistanis they are being killed. But why still the world is silent? Why still the world is not standing with us? This dozier, as you are speaking today, I heard three, four doziers of the same kind mm. in the past. What happened with the doziers? What would be a different happening with this dozier? <coughs> देखिए पहले तो मैंने आपको पूरा सॉरी एक्शंस का बता दिया कि हम इसमें क्या क्या करने जा रहे हैं रेड वॉरेंट्स इश्यू हो गए हैं म्यूचुअल लीगल असिस्टेंस की हमने रिक्वेस्ट दे दी है ये एक ऐसा केस है जो कि पहले भी डॉसियर्स वर ऑब्वियसली बेस्ड ऑन एविडेंस ये एक ऐसा केस है जिसमें अनडिनाइबल एविडेंस है ऑफ नॉट ओनली स्टेट स्पॉन्सरशिप बट प्रोपेलिंग जिसको कहते हैं मास्टर माइंड सिटिंग अंडर स्टेट पेट्रनेज कंटिन्यूंग टू इंजॉय स्टेट पेट्रनेज इट्स ऑल केसेज आर वेरी गुड केसेज दिस इज अ पर्टिक्यूलरली यूनिक केस वेर नो बडी इट सीम ट्राई टू इवन हाइड वॉट दर ट्राइंग टू डू राइट सो दिस इज द स्ट्रॉगेस्ट एविडेंस दैट देर कुड बी आई थिंक वी लुक टूवर्ड्स द रीजन वी टुक टूवर्ड्स टूवर्ड्स द वर्ल्ड to see reality for what it is and to try and discourage a very large country which could frankly speaking play a role of bringing peace and prosperity to the entire region to not became become to to be a harbinger of that and not to become a perpetrator of terrorism and the face of terrorism in the region right this is all we can see however let me also say that when it comes to managing your border areas and when it comes to making sure that they're peaceful we will also do whatever we need to to make sure that pakistan security is always seen to be before anyone else is pakistan will never compromise on what as its own red lines pakistan is also very cognizant of the fact that we want to engage with everyone in a way that we rather find mutual solutions right i think we are in the process of engaging very deeply with all entities to be able to do that so it's uh, but uh, the, the uh, i can tell you that security of whether it's a diplomat पाकिस्तान आज भी दहशत गर्दी से निबट रहा है हालिया दहशत गर्दी के वाकत अम के लिए खतरा है कह रही थी वजी ममलिकत खारजा हैदराबानी खड़ जो इस्लामाबाद में न्यूज कॉन्फ्रेंस कर रही है